What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm a little under the weather, so I figured I'd make a tutorial on how to make a bottle stand for your aqua, you know, marine, aqua, atlantique, aqua mara, or uh, the original aqua for own bottles. Because, um, you know, like this is an aqua atlantique, right? So in your collection, if you just place it down there, they're just going to lay flat and they don't look very good. Now, if you get lucky like I did, and when I uh, bought one of mine as a tester, they'll just sit real nice like that. Now, uh, sometimes you won't get lucky like if you just buy the original bo bottle with the box. They normally don't come with a stand like this. So I was thinking and I came up with this idea here where you can make one out of a coat hanger. <laughs> And look guys, it, it stands up nice and pretty, just like this. Okay, now this is a 50 ml. I have Aqua Atlantique, this is a 100 ml. And it fits in nice, just like that. And then this is the Aqua Poro Marine bottle. And this is a 150 ml. And look at that, it fits perfectly. So I just wanted to show you guys how to make one out of a coat hanger. And uh, yeah, guys, all you're going to need is a, uh, a metal coat hanger, just like this. And uh, you can use a pair of dykes, um, uh, a pair of wire cutters, anything. But since I don't have my dykes with me, since I'm, you know, I, I, I couldn't have the uh, opportunity to get them from work, uh, I just want to show you guys how I do it, or how I did it, how I did mine. And you just bend the, the metal back and forth. So let me get that set up for you guys. All right, guys, so we're back. So... All you're gonna need to do with the if you if you have a, a a coat hanger or a piece of wire. Now this won't apply to you if you just have a piece of wire. But if you have a coat hanger, you're just gonna want to take your hands and you're gonna just want to pry uh, along this part right here. You just want to try to bend these out like this, okay, until it pops open. And if you don't have a pair of dykes like I don't, um, it'd be easier if you had a pair of dykes. But just bend along this little bend here, go back and forth uh, a couple times and then and then it will break. All right, I don't, I don't know the science behind that, but it heats up right here in this thing and it'll just snap off. So I'll come back after I've done that. Okay, so once you uh, cut your piece of wire from the coat hanger, uh, it should be something like this. Now I'm gonna break this in half because it's way too long. So we can actually make two out of this uh, long piece of wire. So let me break this in half and then we'll come right back. Okay, so once you've got your wire from your hanger, or maybe you just had a, a, a wire hanging around, it's gonna be like this, okay? Now you're, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna try to make this as even as possible. Obviously, it's probably not gonna be that even, but just try to bend it in half like that. Just like this, okay? And take your hands, and if you got some hand strength, just bend it just like this, okay? Now, you're gonna wanna take the ends here, and you wanna go to bend them up, upwards like this. So I have my little handy dandy pliers here, and I'm just gonna bend them up like this. Just like that. Okay, so just like this. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna bend like from about here, you're gonna wanna bend it down the opposite way. So you're gonna have these little two going up and you're gonna wanna have this back portion bending down, okay? So there's a couple ways you can do this. You can do it with your, you know, if you have a, uh, really good hand strength, <laughs> which I have really good hand strength. I'm just kind of sick right now. Um, you can try to do that yourself. I'm just gonna bend bend this down like this. So you guys could see that. And 
kind of make it, try to make this as, as even it, as you can. But just kind of like this. See how it sits like that? And I'll show you guys. See how it looks like that? Okay, kind of just bend it out. And then we're gonna, we're gonna test fit it. So we have this Aqua Amara 50, 50 ml. See? See you guys, see how easy that was? So now it sits upright. And I have a couple sizes here. So I have this 150 Aqua, Aquamarine. Now it might not fit the Aquamarine. So you, if you have 150 ml, you might have to bend out these legs out just like that so it could fit it. You might have to just play around whichever size you you have you might just have to play around with it so see how I like bent it out just a little bit like that okay it still won't fit so what you might have to do is you're gonna have to play around with these little legs because these are the things that are gonna hold it in place so just kind of bend it out a little bit Okay, like that. Okay, it's still not holding it. So you might have to bend this out like this. This is a you know trial trial by fire, guys. And look at that, perfect. See that? Oh, hold on. Look at that guys, it's perfect. Okay, I'll show you guys here from the side what it's supposed to look like. Oh. Just like that, all right. And I have another size here. This is a 100 ml aqua pour -ohm. Look at that, it's perfect, okay? So I just thought that, you know, and this is, this is the one I just made now. This is another one that I had made. Um, and this one fits, the size is perfect. Boom. And it's just a lot of trial and error. So, boom, it fits perfect. You guys can see, you know, this is the 150 ml Aqua Poro Marine, and then you obviously got Aqua Mara here, the discontinued one, and that one fits perfect. So, look, guys, if you're, you know, this is kind of how they're supposed to look, and you're gonna have to play around with them. Like I said, they they don't look perfect. You know, they're just, they're just ones where, like, I feel like, you know, you don't have to go out and buy this, or you don't have to go out and buy a stand, all right? Now, obviously, if you go out and buy the stand, it's going to be a lot easier, but if you like to save money like me, or if you're kind of, like, mechanically inclined like I am, you can kind of just come up with your own ways of doing this and to save yourself some money and then also if you do this yourself and it works you're going to have a little bit of self pride i guess you know it makes you yeah at least for me like it made me feel real good when i came up with this i'm sure there's a video on this somewhere but i couldn't find one so i, fi I figured i'd just make one for you guys and maybe you guys could uh get your bottles to stand up like in your collection um because uh, these bottles really do look really nice and uh, you know it it's a shame that they didn't either include a, a stand for these instead of them just sitting there like this now you can have them propped up um, you know so here we'll go ahead and boom This one. Oh, that's upside down. 
boom. So there you guys go. So I hope you guys will like this video. If you did, you know, let me know and uh, I'll catch you guys in my next video. All right, guys. Peace out.